I just a Bola in the house. I am 11 years. I am the founder of Josh for Tech, a programmer, a YouTuber, and also a future skills activist. I guess you might be wondering or you might be thinking, hey, what a future skills activist and what do you do? Well, I go around advocating for people to buy expensive tickets from Elon Musk, SpaceX, take a summer holiday trip on one of his rockets to the moon. Just kidding. I am actually an advocate for the teaching of technology skills to school kids early and also the integration of programming as a core subject in the school curriculum. You might be wondering again, why am I passionate about this? Two main reasons. One, my personal story has taught me, and very, and very importantly, the massive opportunities that I see technology presents to the future of the younger generation to which I belong. I always say that the best time to learn programming is when you are very young. Why? Because the addicts of your mind could have been filled with too many stuff and also the realm of your brain doesn't have too many adult life applications like rents, bills, school fees, putting on it and slowing it down. I was just five when my dad sent me to my first computer summer class. They said that it was for people of my older sister's age and I wouldn't comprehend or understand what was being taught in class. My dad told them, you know what, guys, create his own curriculum for him. And by the end of the program, with his assistance, he, he begged them, we, they got to some meetings, and with his assistance, they allowed me to join the program. And by the end of that program, they were surprised at what a five or six year old boy could do. Right now, at 11 years, I can program in JavaScript, C, C, Sharp, Python, Java, and a few server side languages and databases. And I also currently built some apps. And my, one of my apps currently won a national tech hackathon. But my dad had to stick his neck out, stick his neck out to give me an head start in the tech space. My story, my story demonstrates that a child can do more if he or she is given an opportunity. While many people call me a prodigy, I think what I have done can also be replicated with other kids if they get an early exposure too. I believe my experience shows that a kid can do much if given an opportunity. However, there are quite a number of um, restrictions or controls that are now placing a cap on what we young people can do and achieve. I believe that these barriers should be removed. For example, sometime last year, I tried to register for a training program uh, on Cisco Networking Academy, on um, Cybersecurity and IoT, and was asked for my age. I put it in, I put it, joined the program, and when I put it in, they, were told, they told me that, hey, you're not, you're not qualified to join any course. I was furious, angry, and like, not again, I thought. Um, apologies, if you're watching what an UWA is, or UAR, as I call it, a UAR is my created acronym for Uninformed Adult Restriction. In my few years of joining in the tech space, I have met UWAs or UARs everywhere. For instance, Google wouldn't even allow me to open a normal email until I'm 13. The email that I get from my age only allows me to watch YouTube Kids. Excuse me? Why should I spend my time, my time, my valuable time, at 11 years watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and Mary at their little lamb luxury rhymes when I can invest it and spend it on the fundamentals or watching the fundamentals of UI or UX design on the real YouTube? I know that you will tell me that this, you know, these controls or these restrictions are put in place to ensure that kids are protected from aging appropriate content and also to shield them from cyber attacks and bullying. I understand this concept of aging appropriate content, especially for entertainment, and I totally agree with the idea. Yeah, even me, I, I created a swear word remover to, you know, to help shield kids from 
curse words, swear words that I like it to affect them while browsing online content. You can check that out in my GitHub. My question is, why are adults facing restrictions or limitations on learning technology? I don't quite get that. Who says because I am 11, I can't seem to understand the basics of artificial intelligence or machine learning? Who says because a kid is 8 or 9, the fundamentals of networking and cybersecurity were too hard for him or her to comprehend? Why can't we even teach the principles of data analysis from 4th or 5th grade, starting, for example, with data visualization, which kids can better relate to? I think in an attempt to protect kids, some things have been taken a little bit too far, particularly in the tech space, and are not denying young people the opportunity to access the information they need to innovate and unleash their creativity in life. What I'm trying to say is that I and many other kids have went a little further in our tech pursuits, if not for UARs that have been denying us the access to valuable content that have helped us gain knowledge and also valuable skills faster. Apart from undue restrictions to knowledge access, there is also a way larger and bigger problem of outdated and out of step school curriculum. This time in my school, I am taking a subject in information and communications technology. As you may guess, this is one of my best subjects. However, I was taking a back when under programming, the ICD teacher told us that we were going to learn the basic programming language. Can you imagine? That language was introduced in 1964, back in the days of the baby boomers, when my grandfather was probably even in his diapers. But to avoid being labeled arrogant, I listened curiously and carefully to the class on basic programming, and surprisingly, I found some similarities between it and coding in Python. This taught me that sometimes in life, there's value without listening without bias. However, I would like to expect the teacher to start his instruction to programming fundamentals, maybe using Scratch or even Python. But what choice has he? Basic is what is in our subject curriculum for my class, as given by the government ministry in charge of education. And they have to teach it even if it's an expired, outdated, and not even used program. By the way, basic stands for beginners or purpose. Um, Symbolic Instruction Code, and is one of the earliest high-level languages. For all you Generation Z and Generation Alpha people that are wondering, what is this boy talking about? My experience demonstrates how outdated and out-of-step school curriculum is being taught in schools with negative implications for the future. Today, some tertiary institutions in Africa are still offering programming classes in Pascal, even though the language is even dead and has been taken over by programming in C. In Lagos, where I live today, some schools are still teaching word processing today using typewriters instead of PCs or laptops. Imagine grabbing those metal machines and typing ASDF colon LKG. Interesting, right? In a world that has advanced to touch screen, the students end up learning punch typing instead of touch typing. I believe we are an underestimated generation, perhaps in a box of limitation, created by the ignorance of our abilities and existing in the mind of adults. I am of the opinion that the reason for the overstretching of the concept of age-appropriate content into the learning space is because most adults don't have a host of an idea of what we young people are capable of when given an opportunity. In my rising above the constraining opinions of adults, I have made this word of the Bible my motivating force. Let no man despise thy youth, Bobby Dow, an example. I've come to tell you that how and many other kids can do much more than men that adults can even imagine. I want you to know that we are capable of more. We can learn faster and innovate much more quickly. The kids of today are going to live in a digital pervasive future and I am therefore advocating for the overhauling of the school curriculum to teach syllabus and the syllabus to teach knowledge and skills that are more relevant to the future in which we kids are going to live. We should integrate content that prepares young people for the industry and marketplace early in the curriculum. Programming also must be integrated as a core subject from elementary school. I've come to appeal for the barriers and controls that limit learning to be revealed, 
while seeking safe ways for children to learn online, we need to remove the unnecessary restrictions to skill acquisition. We must also be mindful not to shackle the ability to explore and be inspired early. Of course, we also need more adults like my dad and my mom to believe in the ability and capacity of us kids to learn more and do more. And like him, we have to create more opportunities for kids to unleash their creativity and creativity and talent and, and innovation for the benefit of our world. I conclude by borrowing some words from Wolf Wado Immersion and it says, the mind once stretched by a new idea, never returns to its original dimension. I say, the young mind, once stretched by a new idea, never returns to its original dimension. <laughs>